Uh. Oh, hey, FTM Kickstart. Didn't see you guys there. How's it going? How's everyone doing? Good and well, I hope. This is uh, FTM Kickstart's Trans Health series, and this topic is bottom health. Taking care of your downstairs. I struggle with this concept because I don't like my downstairs. So ignoring it has been my policy, which is immature and not very healthy. I'm part of a trans group in my hometown. Talk about a range of subjects. It's actually a really nice group really good people and back in October we were talking about sex I'll put um, I'll put some information uh, in the hot tub no in the bar below the video uh, about things we talked about but the thing I wanted to talk about is good old pap smear really upsets me. I have a really hard time dealing with that idea. Um, I've never had one. Back in 2008, I went to my doctor and had a physical, and it was the first time in my life that she kind of checked down there, but it was just like a quick look around. I don't know. She said everything looked good, and when I've talked to her about it before, I've let her know that I've never had sex uh, with a man, and I haven't really had sex with a woman where our bodies are coming in contact. Like There's always been something in between us, uh, whether it's a strap-on or my boxer shorts, you know, pants, anything. I don't know. I don't know, and I try not to think about it, but that's not a good way to deal with anything, <laughs> you know? Ignoring stuff doesn't make it go away. So, I have an appointment with my doctor on the 14th to talk to her about testosterone. Making this video and talking about this um, kind of reminded me that I need to talk to her about pap smears and getting one. As a human being, I think it's important to be brave and to sort of swallow the fears I have about someone seen downstairs and more so the process. Like, I really don't like the idea of having anything inserted into me down there. That really troubles my mind. And so. To put myself through that willingly seems very strange, but on the other hand I can understand why it's important because, I don't know, that, that few minutes or however long it is of discomfort put against sort of like maybe an excruciating slow death from cervical cancer because I couldn't put myself through those few minutes of discomfort. Right, gotta look at the big picture I suppose. I'll put a link also downstairs because Buck Angel did a PSA. It's good and it's a good thing to have for our community. Um, so I'll put the link down, you guys can watch it if you want. The one thing I want to say about it is Buck Angel, if you don't know who he is, I'm not sure if I really know who he is. I know he is a trans porn star. I think you have to be very comfortable with your body to be in that industry, first of all. And as a trans man, like, I've seen some of his videos, and like he has penetrative sex where someone is penetrating him, and I can never do that. And so we obviously have different 
comfort levels with our body and different ideas about what's going on downstairs. And so I think it's a bit difficult. I don't want to bash it because it's a good thing and I appreciate that it's in the community. It almost seems easier for him to go through with it, you know, to, to get that check done. Whereas for me, like, I've never had anything inside me. I couldn't even do tampons when I got my stupid fucking period. So I almost feel like it would be good to have someone who doesn't feel comfortable with downstairs and, you know, doesn't ever want to be penetrated by anything ever talking about why it's important to get this done. I feel like that would be valuable to guys like me who are really stressed out about it and are really uncomfortable and so putting our health at risk because we're that uncomfortable about it. I guess just about keeping downstairs clean. Like when I shower, that's when I clean downstairs. I don't go out of my way to just clean up my bottom parts without showering. You know? Hello, Mr. Squirrel. I don't think I can get you on camera, but I might as well try. Look at you. Right there. How's it going? Yes. How do you like the winter? Snow's finally come. Yep. Oh, there you go. Oh, where are my seven dwarves? I hope everyone takes good care of themselves. I'm going to start, and I'll let you guys know what I find out from my doctor. All right.